Hello there, everybody. Welcome back. I'm here to be talking about Season 5 of Cobra Kai. And yes, I know this came out a good minute ago, but you all know the drill. I've been busy. Yep. And just when I was about to do the review um, earlier last week, <sighs> Hurricane Ian happened. And so, you know, I just, I just didn't have the time. And eventually I was like, no, I, I want to talk about this. So I'm going to get some thoughts out on this season. And just know, since it's been out for a good minute, as I said, there's going to be spoilers, so heads up there. Now, Cobra Kai Season 5 takes place after, obviously, Season 4. And Season 4 left off on a lot of cliffhangers. And the biggest ones being Miguel, how he ran away to try to find his father in Mexico. You have that thread, and now you have Robbie and Johnny Lawrence kind of doing a father-son trip in a way to go save him. And you have Daniel LaRusso, who teams up with an old friend, enemy, frenemy, in Chosen to help him take down Terry Silver, who rigged the um, tournament that they agreed the loser would have to shut down their dojo. And now he wants to expand and bring Cobra Kai to new heights and globally, which, as we see in the show, Cobra Kai is a bad influence on people. It brings out their inner you know negative sides and so they want to try to stop that once and for all and there's a whole lot of stuff that was up in the air and so this season had a lot to deliver on in that aspect story-wise and again this show is one of my favorite shows on streaming television whatever you want to call it these days it's one of my favorite shows currently making seasons and this season was really solid like the others but Unlike the others, I had a few nitpicks and complaints about them, so it kind of ruins the trajectory of being that perfect show through and through. And a lot of my complaints have to do with, I feel like the creators and all, now I'm real curious to see how much longer they can keep the show going, but in this season in particular, it just kind of felt like they were running out of ideas in some ways. Like There were lots of, there's this one plot thread, the Miguel one. Where that only lasts for like two or three episodes of him going to find his dad. And I felt like that was neat. that was just put in there. That kind of, you know, put out some runtime for him, Johnny, and, you know, Robbie during that storyline. And it wasn't like bad, but it just kind of felt anticlimactic. And then they come back, but they aren't really a part of the main story thread, which is to take down Terry Silver and stop Cobra Kai. And also with how the season ends, it feels like where can they go from here because you know at the end of the season like i know i said spoilers but for real spoilers they they win they exposed terry silver for he admitted to he admitted to tori that you know he rigged it for her to win for cobra kai to win overall and she was kind of being like a double agent spy for crease and i really liked what they did with her character like, a lot of the side characters, in a way, are becoming really well, you know, fleshed out like they have been. But it feels like the main, main characters, like Miguel, kind of took a back seat. But they still have moments. And it just feels like there was a lot that this season was juggling. And it pays off a good amount. But this isn't the final season. And there's some stuff that are still kind of left up in the air. Like, Crease, he... It's funny because he was framed for being up you know steam ray and if he would have just waited just a little bit they would have cleared his name because he you know admitted the truth about terry silver and terry silver you know got arrested and all at the end but crease broke out of jail so i don't know what he's going on about and it just kind of feels like it's it's like enough's enough in a way but again there's some really solid fight sequences there's some great tie-ins like mike barnes shows up the love interest, I believe, from Cobra Kai 3. And a lot of stuff ties in. And I love when the show does this, where it brings back the same actors and actresses and it really fleshes out this world of Cobra Kai. And that's part of the reason why I love it, along with the good fight scenes and the great character beats and story moments. And I love this show, I really do. But I'm worried that it's starting to keep, if it keeps going and they keep making seasons, I just feel like it's going to get into the, it should have ended, you know, back when, 
like Big Bang Theory is an example where that show was, I love it so much, but in the last couple seasons, it just kind of felt like they were running out of ideas and they kept drawing it out. And eventually, even some of the cast members were like, yeah, we need to stop. We're, we just need to, we're running out of shit to do. And that's how I feel like Cobra Kai will go if it keeps going because a lot of story beats and character moments that they did has already been paid off or fulfilled. And I just don't want it to run off the cliff in a way. But again, I'm not trying to say the show's awful or bad. It's just some concerns I have and what happened with this season. And that's pretty much all I have to say on it. Again, solid performances. There's some good music in there, great fights, some satisfying payoffs for story beats and character moments. And I'm, I'm gonna watch the next season because I am curious to watch more. But I just, I just don't, I just hope it doesn't, you know, fall off that cliff. But again, thank you all so much for watching this video. And those are my thoughts on Cobra Kai Season 5. Again, I really like this season. It's my least favorite, though, of the show so far. And let's hope it stays here because the rating I gave it is still pretty good. That's like a top-tier quality television. But it, it just wasn't up to my standards that I was used to for the past four seasons. But again, thank you all so much for watching. It means a lot to me. And I do appreciate you guys being patient if you were wanting to see another review because I know it's been a while. I'll try to get more out, but I can't promise anything. But thank you all so much again, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Bye.